Hi everyone, let's enjoy the return of the Champions League. Leave a like if you've been missing it and write your predictions for today's ties in the comments down below. Arsenal vs Bayern Munich and Real Madrid vs Manchester City. And while you're typing, we are getting started. Let's get the show on the pitch. Want to think about whether I will be a coach now? No, because I know how hard it is and how much work it takes. Robert Lewandowski stated. Arsenal are currently the best team in the Premier League. All statistics prove that. They are in fantastic form. Thomas Tuchel said. Eintracht Frankfurt will not activate the 12 million euros release clause for Donny van de Beek. He is likely to go back to Manchester United, who've decided to sell him this summer. Future Real Madrid star Andrik helped Palmeiras become the champions of the state of Sao Paulo. In the second match of the final, the team beat Santos 2-0 at home. The first match was won by the Black and Whites 1-0. This marks the fifth consecutive victory for Andrik in Brazil. We have the same managers, but we have new players, they have new players. We have a little advantage that we played the second leg at home, where we feel strong and incredibly confident, but we have to play 90 minutes here. Pep Guardiola claimed. The Opta supercomputer has delivered its prediction on the outcome of the Premier League title race after the match day 32. Manchester City remain the favorites. Frank de Jong has fully recovered from his injury and is set to be a part of the starting lineup against PSG. Bayern's clash against Arsenal is a do or die game. That's where we are actually particularly strong. Former Gunners representative Serge Gnabry shared his expectations for the game. Tottenham Hotspur and Newcastle United are keen on signing RB Leipzig defender Mohamed Simakan. The release clause in his contract is worth 70 million euros. Kyle Walker, Nathan Ake, and Joshko Gvardiol will not be available for Man City's first leg against Real Madrid. Pedri will be called up for the first leg against PSG, but there is a serious doubt about him actually playing there. Sometimes I feel pain in my knee, but I don't remember the last day I played football without pain, so I cannot complain. I'm just trying to recover well and that's it. Mentally I try to keep strong in my mind and that's it." Gabriel Jesus revealed. Rolf Rangnick says no to FC Bayern. When asked at a media event whether he had spoken to Bayern, the current Austria coach replied, No, why should I? I feel comfortable here, I still have a contract until 2026, and our goal and our path will continue after the Euros. The best player to control Vinicius is Walker, but he got injured in training. We have to find a solution, Pep Guardiola said. I think Mbappe is the best forward in the world right now, Joao Felix thinks. Graham Potter has turned down the chance to become the next Ajax manager after the Dutch club held talks with him. Portugal has enough quality to win Euro 2024, Diogo Dalot believes. UEFA is considering 26 player squads for Euro 2024 after a discussion with coaches. PSG expect an anti Mbappe plan from Barca. In their locker room, there is talk of the possibility that Araujo or perhaps Kunde will mark Kylian. Heron Venn spoke to Van Persie about a possible role as head coach. I always give everything for the team that I coach. I will give everything for Bayern until the last game. I'm fine with the decision. In the end, it's just football. Me and my coaching staff are our harshest critics. We'll see this through the end, Thomas Tuchel said. To hurt Barca, we are gonna have to give the best version of ourselves. Barcelona is a very high-level club. It's a good team. It'll be very difficult, but I think we are at a very high level too. We are in a good period and I'm convinced that we can eliminate them," Luis Enrique said. Steve McManaman on Bellingham I spoke to people around Madrid and the president last week. They love his attitude on the pitch, off the pitch. They love how he's tried to integrate with the team. Anthony Taylor has been appointed as the referee for the PSG vs Barcelona match in the UEFA Champions League. Inter Milan became the first team in the history of Serie A to score in each of the first 31 games of the season. Real Madrid won a close the Bernabeu roof to create an intimidating atmosphere against Man City in the Champions League, with UEFA set to rule hours before kickoff. I'm very happy in Barcelona. I love the city, the people, the club. My position is clear. 
the dressing room is also incredible. I really hope to stay the club beyond this season, Joao Felix told Catalonia Radio. How to stop Killian? It's difficult because he is very good, because of his way of playing, because of his power, because of his ability to score goals. But as I always say, the collective strength must do it. A player alone will not be able to. Xavi will have to come up with a collective plan. Former PSG manager Luis Fernandez shared his opinion. Everton have been given a two-point deduction due to a breach of Premier League financial rules. Now they are just two points above the relegation zone. Rafael Liao thinks he's a genius, but he's just a decent player. Over five months, Liao didn't score in a poor league like Serie A. Antonio Cassano criticized the AC Milan forward. Bayern is not just Kane. We know the individuals that they have and we know the individual qualities of all those players. And him in particular, the ability that he has. When you look at his numbers over the last 10 years, it's unbelievable. He can score in many different ways. He's got the service with the players around him to provide those opportunities. That's what we have to try to avoid, Mikel Arteta claimed. Joe Cole on the Brunei. He is the godfather of attacking midfielders in world football. I still think he is the best of the bunch. I think he sits above everyone. I really do. And I include Lampard, Coles, Gerrard and everyone. Manchester City are the main favorites for the Champions League trophy according to Optus calculations. Real Madrid are in second place and PSG are third. Juventus are one step away from signing Felipe Anderson as a free agent. Deal imminent. Formal proposal sent to the Brazilian winger, all set to be sealed soon. Verbal agreement at final stages, details being sorted and then, here we go. Rodri on Real Madrid playing just one game since the international break. I would like to rest like them, but it does not worry us. Guys, if you're still watching us without a subscription, then it's time to fix it. Pause the video and give us a subscribe. Alright, let's continue. Yesterday, we had a few intriguing matches to watch, and the results are in front of you. Intra picked up another victory and thus took a step closer to the league title. Losing 1-0, Simone Inzaghi's side was able to snatch three strong world points thanks to accurate shots from Chalhanoglu and Fratesi. And now we turn to Saudi Arabia, where Cristiano Ronaldo delivered a rather disastrous performance. Al Nasser lost 1-2 to Al Hilal in the Saudi Super Cup semi-finals with the Portugal international receiving a straight red card and gesturing as if he wanted to throw a punch at the referee. Why did the Al Nasser ace receive a red card? Have a look at this clip. After that situation, CR7 sarcastically applauded the match official's decision. Looks like a multi-match suspension is inevitable. Do you agree? Then hit the like button. Moving on to the main news of the release. Real Madrid and Brazil striker Rodrigo has revealed that he could have joined Liverpool in the past. I almost joined Liverpool in 2017. The deal was done for 3 million euros. It collapsed because I said no. I wanted to stay at Santos, make history, finish my studies and then leave. Even though the offer from LFC was very good, The Guardian quoted the Brazilian as saying, We would like to remind you that there are insights suggesting the possibility of Rodrigo leaving Real Madrid due to Mbappe's rival and a decrease in his playing minutes. Liverpool are among the options. Manchester City are expected to wrap up a long-awaited deal to sign Lucas Paqueta from West Ham after agreeing personal terms with the midfielder. City have a personal agreement with the Brazilian in place over his wages as they prepare to sign him in the summer transfer window, Footmer Cutter reports. However, the reigning European and English champions are still to strike a deal with the Hammers over a transfer fee. City attempted to sign the midfielder from the East London team last summer, but they pulled out of the reported £85 million deal because an investigation into alleged betting breaches was opened up by the Football Association. Liverpool are closing in on agreeing a three-year contract with sporting head coach Ruben Amorim. 39-year-old Amorim has become the favorite to succeed Jurgen Klopp, who is expected to leave Liverpool at the end of the season after Xabi Alonso's decision to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. Amorim has also been linked with some other top clubs, including Chelsea and Barcelona, though according to Portuguese outlet Sic Noticias, Liverpool appear to be winning the race for Ruben. 
The Reds have already made a more contract offer valid until 2027 and hope that Ruben will accept it. The agreement may be reached in the coming days. In this case, the Portuguese Giants will be able to receive compensation from Liverpool for a Morim in the amount of about £8.6 million. Paris Saint-Germain have not given up hope of signing Gavi from Barcelona, despite the Catalan club's strong desire to keep the midfielder. PSG identified the Spain international as a possible chance for target last summer as they looked at bringing a promising young player to revolutionize their midfield and Lequipe reports, Gavi remains high on their list of options. Signing the 19-year-old will be no easy feat for the French champions, however. Barca have no interest in selling one of their prized assets and his contract, which runs until 2026, has a 1 billion euros release clause. Barcelona will try to sign Bernardo Silva this summer as long as their FFP improves. Laporta wants to offer Man City to pay his release clause in installments. In his recent interview with Catalonia Radio, Juba Felix added fuel to the flames with the following statement. I think I've convinced Bernardo Silva to join Barca. That's all true, but it doesn't depend on him right now. He asked me about places to live, places to eat, safety, everything. If he comes, Barca will be delighted with Bernardo. Barca did not like Juba Felix's statements on the signing of Bernardo Silva. The club believes that these issues should be handled with more discretion. On Monday, April 8, the terrorist group Islamic State launched a threat against the four stadiums that will host the first leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. The Al Azaim Foundation, a media outlet that is responsible for spreading message from the Islamic State, published the image of a poster threatening the Parc des Princes, the Santiago Bernabeu, the Metropolitan and the Emirates Stadium with the message, kill them all. Folks, we invite you to check out the new video on our Inside Football project about the confrontation between Barcelona and PSG and the reasons for their hatred for each other. Have a great time watching! Bye-bye!